You think I'll be able to take this? I think I'll be able to take this. Look at you, Mr. Hotshot, Superfly Johnson. Thanks for the settled great profit, bro. You want to take that city back, you can. That's already something that you could have avoided doing in the first place. And I'm losing a lot of gold per turn. <laughs> on Justinian was delayed for another turn as I just completely crushed <laughs> Why would you throw your units away like that? <laughs> Wait, I gotta check my treasury here. 1,097 gold. If I stop research, what, where am I at? I am still losing money. That's good to know. <laughs> I think I gotta trade. I don't want to trade away printing press, but... That's a lot of gold. You know, and he definitely got the better value of the deal, but man, that's a lot of gold. <sighs> and I think I'll trade it to other people, too. Maybe. No, kind of at war with you. Maybe you. Although I, I don't exactly want to get you closer to uh, rifling. Maybe I'll just keep that in special, super cool, secret uh, Louis possession. Although he's kind of friendly with. Uh, yeah, just give me the gold. <laughs> just give me the money. Whatever. For the record, that was me being in pain. <laughs> I'm just in pain right now, just face palming so hard. I'm mentally face palming so hard. I, I meant to select you two. Just go ahead and. stupid shit. Please show me on the doll where that was a good idea. Please show me. I just want to hear an explanation of why that was a good idea. That's all. That's all I want. Just one good explanation of why the game should have done that. That's all I want. Please educate me on how that helps Churchill. Okay, you guys took the city back. Good job. Yay, you took the city back. That's, that's, that's great. It's great effort on your part. And I'm not going to be able to take it back on my own. Because I have a lot of injured dudes. So you certainly have that going for you. You certainly showed me who's boss. Not quite convinced, but you certainly showed me who's boss. Yes, you totally got me. <laughs> I go ahead and fortify this uh, guy in here as I'm having my injured troops head over there. Um, go ahead and have you two come over here. And it's time for me to whip more rifles. This game. Game? Parroting Halcyon there. Game? And I've got a lot of whip anger now. A lot of whip anger. You know how I saw whip anger? Whipping more. <laughs> at this point, at this point, uh, it'll last me until the end of the game. 
Oh, boy. I need more happiness resources, but I can't get any. Shit. That's good. My rifles have killed English units. Okay, you decided to attack me here, where all these rifles are. You know, I think Churchill deserves to die for, for stupidity. For sheer stupidity, he deserves to die. There's no question in my mind that he deserves to die for everything he has done. He just deserves it. He outright deserves it. For being so blatantly retarded that... Accepting Justinian as a peace vassal helps his position? Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. It totally helps your position, bro. Dumbass. <laughs> In a way, though, I guess, it's, I guess it's fair to say that did piss me off. In a way. Yep. Man, am I mad. Okay. Why is the city so angry? Well, gee, we cannot forget your cruel oppression, yeah. Well, I was a good farm, you did absolutely nothing. No, it's totally good for things. Just ask Churchill. He was willing to go to war with pretty much the entire fucking world. Uh-huh. How many defenders do you have there? How many attackers do I have? Sit down. Give me the city back. We're gonna try this shit again. You guys are not understanding the fact that I have rifling. You're not getting it. The memo did not come in. It eluded you somehow. And now as opposed to surgically taking out my opponents, I have to flounder around here like a dumbass. Thank you. Justinian's off the map, at least. Have to see him another game, folks. You'll have to see Justinian another game. He is done. Is this... Justinian is no more. He has ceased to be. Yep. No, I think I'm gonna go over here. Let's uh, let's punish him. Hannibal here, who decided to be a chicken shit and peace vassal. I believe it was a peace vassal. The fucking Justinian. At least it wasn't done during the middle of. Yeah, your protective longbows can save you so well against everyone else, but against me, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> the entire world's at war again, at least. That's a comforting thought right there. And some people are closing in, unfortunately, on, uh, on rifling. I mean, I kind of traded away printing press, so it makes sense. Not exactly that enthused about it. Just focusing my espionage on Brennus. I'm probably not going to get an advantage on him, espionage-wise. No, probably not. <laughs> this fucking game. Oh, you have delayed my victory by so many turns, because I had to divide my resources to deal with this shit. Great, you're trolling me by destroying fucking workshops. You know I'm, uh, how I'm going to respond to that? I'm going to kill you. And it's going to be an awesome, delicious kill. I don't even need a full, a super force here. Three, four, five, fine. All of you. Now I have three defenders of that city, that's great. Hannibal. Out of curiosity, limited offer here. You want to capitulate to me? No. Never mind. Are you afraid of my enemies? Oh, surely I must be joking. That means that I haven't done enough to him. <laughs> I have not educated him that this is the best decision he could possibly make. And, uh, did I not fucking route all of my cities here? Just in case. And Louis built the Taj Mahal. It's great. It means I could have built that. 
since it was done so late. But, you know, kind of busy right now, doing more important things, like running out of money. Deficit researching out of my ass. <laughs> That's an interesting situation, folks, whenever you're deficit researching out of your ass. It's, it's an amazing concept, rest assured. You think, like, these three guys are enough to do it? Probably not. Worth a shot. Maybe these four guys will. Ooh, man. Sorry, I'm just... Mm. Gotta stretch a bit. I'm tired. Oh. Been sitting here for a while and I haven't taken a break like I usually do whenever I uh, record uh, Let's Play videos. But since I only had this computer for a limited amount of time, yeah. No breaks. No rest for the wicked. And I am most certainly wicked. Ain't no rest for the Wicked. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Of course you're like, I'm at war with everybody when my protective longbows can take care of everything. I'm going to attack the human player. But you know, I guess that makes sense. You know what I probably didn't do? I probably didn't reroute this city's um, waypoint. That explains everything. <laughs> oh, I haven't whipped you in a while. <laughs> Let's take care of that. <laughs> Well, you haven't seen the whip in many a long year. Shit, we need to take care of that. And that's gonna be consumed by Celtic culture. Great. Just what I always wanted. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fuck you! Mine! <laughs> oh, damn! So much for that. Of course, the fucker's entire army was never depleted or anything, so it's alive. Did I kill anything in that? Okay. But he had some trebuchets, and uh, my forces who took that were presumably weakened, so. There you go. Attacking protective civilization. And of course, I don't win. I lost two battles because this game hates me. And I wish you would die in a fire. Like, seriously? All of your dudes die now. Die. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Do you understand the anger coming out of my mouth? And, uh, Brennan says queer seers, uh, courtesy of the fact that he has military tradition. Uh, yeah. That's fun shit. I could be built, starting to build some cannons. Uh, I could. That would, uh, save the lives of some of my rifles here so I don't lose so many. Should probably do that. <sighs> Must... With more troops. <laughs> Must whip more. <laughs> more whipping! You must construct additional whips. More whipping! <laughs> He's gone mad, everybody! Oh, man. That would be useful to have, that silver right there, without a doubt. I'm done with this turn? Okay, good. Having to divide all my forces here is really painful, and it is definitely slowing me down. No, dude. I'm not getting dragged into all that shit. I'm voting for myself. Churchill is Buddhist now, instead of Confucian like he had been for so long. I'm taking the city, bro. Taking this fucking city. Give me. Thank you. Bastard. This is what you get for fucking peace vassaling. This is what you get. This is all yours. 
you're probably not going to vassal to me. Because he, he's afraid of my enemies. He's afraid of Churchill. Will you vassal to me? Of course you're doing fine on your own. You've been at war with practically every fucking buddy since the... <laughs> Tell me you're running away from him. Like, oh god! It's the amazing Churchill! I must flee in terror! <laughs> Why are you trolling me, Churchill? Why are you trolling me? This has been delayed for fucking ever. God, ugh, I'm getting angry. You can't tell. I can't even build cannons anyway, I just noticed that. I still need a few more turns. <sighs> I'm coming to kill you, and he's like, I have catapults here! I'm coming to weaken your army! <laughs> That's what he's doing, everybody. It is. He's like, I'm coming to get you! And I'm like, God damn it, don't do it! He's like, I'm doing it! And I'm like, don't do it, you're just wasting your catapults! And I'm like, I'm doing it! Ah. And I'm like, God damn it, you bastard! And he's like, I know, lol, I'm the AI, and I'm trolling you. That's when the AI is at their worst. It's not when they're actually trying to win the game, it's when they're trolling you. And you know what? We need some upgrades. Upgrade complete. Spending a lot of gold there. But, uh, you know, I have an extra. Just like I have some extra. I have an extra longbowman here. Upgrade complete. 732 gold is not a lot. Churchill, just give up, bro. Just, just surrender. To me. Now. I'll make all your pain and trouble go away, dude. It's okay. I can make it all stop. I can make it all end. But no, you're doing fine on your own. Of course you're doing fine on your own. How could you not be doing fine on your own? I mean, you're, you're Winston Churchill. The best leader ever. You saved Britain. You saved Great Britain from the, uh, the German menace. There's no way you could be doing bad. Shit. How could you not be fine on your own? That would be a sin if you were. <sighs> Can any of you hear the sarcasm in my voice? Just curious. Just check in. Just want to know, that's all. Why? Who is routing here? Are you still routing here? I'm sure the answer is blatantly obvious as to why a dude keeps popping up there, but I'm not understanding it, and I probably never will. And it'll upset me until the end of time. Nope. Well, I'm fucking coming for you, dude. And I am pissed. How is that different from your usual moods, Grimith, LOL? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, boy. I am my own troll. It's sad. Louis doing better than me, but I presume that's because he actually has a population. And okay, I'm gonna have to slow down the research here. <laughs> I can't do it. Can't do it. Oh wow, I was really close. I'll go ahead and put 10% into that, I guess. Yeah, I'm just leaking money out. I do not have the, uh, the infrastructure. I don't have the population to work economic tiles to save my ass here. It's pretty bad. Um, um, no more research for me. <laughs> Fuck. Um, <laughs> you build one more rifle. And then we need to start considering, uh, maybe, I don't know wealth. You know, honestly, I tell you what, 
I think now is the time for the Golden Age. <laughs> now is the time. <laughs> so I don't go completely broke there. Yep. I think that's a great time for a Golden Age to save my ass. No more whipping for a while. I don't think. I could be wrong. I might change my mind. <laughs> it's pretty easy for me to do that. And obviously London's no longer your capital because you've lost it before. Oh, man. Sorry, folks. I'm just getting uh, sluggish and tired. I've been playing this for, what, three and a half hours? All right, you are done. I'm going to have you build a theater. And then I'll build you a barracks. And then you can help me with the war effort. Yay! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Churchill's been in a lot of wars, but still. Go ahead. Retake that city. I will kill your army. <laughs> I can't research anymore. I can't fucking research anymore. <laughs> Churchill. Where's Oxford? Where is Oxford? I I don't know. Where is it? It's probably excuse me. Fucking goddammit I couldn't sneeze. It's probably up there in the frozen north somewhere. I I don't care. Just just keep it. Just, just keep it. <sighs> I'm done. I'm done with him. I, I don't even want York. I don't even want York. Here. Take York back. Because that's in the middle of his culture there, and it's just, it's not worth it for me to keep. But I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get some of these fucking things I deserve here. You give me this, and I'll trade you this. Yep. Incense, I don't have any of that. I uh, have a horse, bro. Do I have a pig? I do not have a pig. And you can have a silk. Do I have a deer? I don't. Corn, banana, I don't have a stone. Well, shit, I could use that. Sheep for deer? Yay, and no, stone. What am I going to build with that? I can also give this guy some technology here. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Oops, one minute, testing. Sorry about that, everyone. I, I ran over my fucking headset cord with my chair. It's kind of dangling down from the front of the desktop, and yeah, I have wheels on my chair. So yeah, the stone's not worth it. Oh, man. It's warm in my room now. Okay? Now, Hannibal. Thank you, bro. We are done. Get me out of war. Since you are my bitch now, what do you give me for this? Economics? That could really help me. Um, yeah, it's fine. See the big picture? Let's adopt something. Like that. Oh, uh, help out my economy here. My flailing economy. Yeah. I'm probably going to give Utica back, too. Tell you what's what I'm going to do. Because Utica is not exactly that useful for me. Here. There we go. And all these cities should be relatively fine now. Yeah, that's just like too close to Carthage and stuff. And I, I can I should be able to hold these cities up here. Oh, you're starving, bro. That's not cool. Go ahead and quick whip that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move all these troops now. He got free two free musket men whenever I did that as well. Just like how uh, Churchill got two free macemen for me doing what I did there. Okay, everybody route to cancel that. That's Lonica. 
And uh, our next attack will be on Brennus. Not quite a steamroller, but we're certainly plodding along here fine, just fine. And, you know, with this golden age, I can actually do a bit of research without my economy fucking falling apart. <laughs> Not so bad. Handel's actually got scientific method coming up. Cool. The enemy has been spotted. Barbarian warrior coming to save the day. <laughs> barbarian warrior's gonna stop everyone and everything because he's the barbarian warrior. It's like, really? kidding me. Now, one disadvantage declaring war on Brindis is which, 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 which is what I'm going to do is that his armies are like going over to kill Genghis Khan. So his forces are kind of spread out here. Now, let's take a look at the, uh, the situation here. Yeah. But uh, Hannibal will help me vassal Brindis quickly due to him being basically like a, a land target of sorts. Because they have, they share like eight contiguous uh, consecutive border tiles, or I probably didn't need all the contiguous consecutive, but whatever. They do. And so there you go. Man, it feels great. <laughs> Get that out of the way. Whew. You know, I could have vassaled Justinian, but he was definitely not worth it after I completely eviscerated him. But uh, this, yeah, it's worth it now. Do you have anything I don't have? I don't think so. It's fine. I don't feel like gifting you technologies. But I will tell you what the research next. You build a barracks next. Um, Buddhist temple. Build a theater. <laughs> Gonna kill you. <laughs> Gonna die, die, die. Ah, huh, this is building wealth again, I forgot. If I take it off that, yeah, it's still doing good, that's great. Now, I was going to do something and completely forgot, that's right. I would like you to research... Um, democracy. And I tell you what, I'm just gonna gift you a bunch of stuff. You need to catch up again. There we go! Yay! I've shared my technological discoveries with him! Yay! So I would like you to research... I still have all this shit, damn it. I don't know, education. <laughs> there goes Genghis Khan armies. Oh, there we go, they traded blows there in the middle of my territory. Nope, not helping you against the Celts right now. Not giving you my world map. Theater has been done. So let's go ahead and build a barracks there then. And after the barracks. Rifles! Still have yet to throw in cavalry, but you know, what the fuck. Fuck cap not, not cavalry, but you know, cannons. I mean, with cannons you can and everything, just not feeling it a cannony mood, I guess. Just not feeling it, dog. Just not feeling it. And, yeah, I've retired the whip. This whip is no more. It has ceased to be. Because I'm a nice guy like that. Ah, uh, besides, you know, with the Golden Age, my cities are producing well enough on their own. They don't need uh, further incentive. <laughs> and, yep, you can certainly uh, start contributing to the team now, bro. Build more rifles. Now, where is my great general? I presume he is somewhere on this map. I've just forgotten where. Oh. Oh. Here you are. You could have been useful. You can still be useful. Yay, useful. Utility. <laughs> Observe as Brennus continues to funnel reinforcements. Certainly respectable. Right. Right. Ah. Uh, I will 
get more espionage on you, Brennis. Eventually! Promote these guys. Three turns until a full and complete heal. <sighs> Watching my cities repair themselves. Heal themselves through the blood of Grimoth. <laughs> that might have been a sacrilegious statement. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay, now I want to plot my forces where Hannibal's culture already is, so it's the easiest for me to attack. So, let's go ahead and separate out some units here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And they will head here, and I will pursue and basically own, I reckon. That will be my city. It will have my name on it for all time. It will be Fonzie's. Now, notice whenever I declare war, all Brennus's units, you know, they can't go to Hannibal's territory or Churchill's territory of mine. So if they're, like, in the middle here, they're going to be flung way far. They're going to teleport, basically. It's going to be fun. <laughs> didn't you know that units in 1585 AD could teleport, bro? You didn't get the memo? Oh, my God. Also, yeah, this is going to be a later victory than uh, my win on the Inland Sea. I'm not using cavalry, which would be quicker. And I got absorbed into a situation there, which was not helpful or conducive. And I meant to do a final civic switch there before, uh, <laughs> before my Golden Age ended. Whoops. No! <laughs> Why would I agree to do that? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, let's see what I can do here. Let's pull out 18 uninjured guys, if I can. 8, 9, 10. And this should totally be enough units to break him. <laughs> I mean, really. Especially since his military is invested in other things. And uh, especially since he doesn't have rifling yet. It should be no contest, right? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh boy, I'm losing money. Nah, not not going to trade away more of my precious income. Although I gotta admit, you know, this is not quite helping me here. <laughs> 28 turns until steam power and I'm losing all this gold per turn. Could certainly uh, do with losing less, so... Uh, you go back to that, cancel that, wealth next, and you should probably, I think I'm going to have you build the ironworks next turn, even though that'll take you a while, because apparently you don't have as many hammers as I wanted you to, but actually ironworks take 700 hammers, so maybe that's not that big of a deal after all. Okay, what are we looking at there? Lots of catapults. Well, suicide into my stack, killing a lot of units, it'll be aggravating. <laughs> Glad I figured that out. Uh, <laughs> wonder how much of the map I control. Let's see. After that, now you build a barracks. Now you build a barracks, and you must construct additional riflemen. Makes sense if you don't think about it. Have you built a theater yet? You have not. I just want a theater to be there, folks. There's, you know, maybe additional culture. I think I might have die somewhere. If I don't, I'm going to get it soon. So, yeah. Barbarian sees been captured. Let's see what kind of forces... Brennus is fielding here that I can see. Okay, he's got a bunch of cuirassiers out on the map, basically scattered around the Helen back. He's covering this territory here. And whenever I declare war, they're going to be flung somewhere where my borders aren't. So, probably back there. I don't think they'll be flung into Genghis Khan's territory. Of course, an English revolt would take place here. Yay! Yay! 
So glad that's happening, everybody. Yay! <laughs> can you tell how enthused I am? You can? Yay! Needs more rifles! Yeah, it would be boring if I just showed you guys nothing but cavalry wars, right? I gotta show you guys something different. So here's what you can do with rifles. I'm not even drafting them. I'm just straight up building them. Don't think I'm doing a bad job. Right. Think I'm gonna take what I can do here and move these guys here. That'll be closer to declare war on that, which is what I'm gonna do next turn. I know it's dangerous. I mean, cuirassiers are nothing for rifles to fear that bad anyway. It's not until our, my opponent actually gets rifling him. They're not. They're like, I have scientific method. I can research physics, and then I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, no, you're retarded. Please step away from the vehicle. Hey, Brennus, bro. Brennus, bro. Bro, our mutual military struggles brought us closer together. You're right. But well, I'm going to declare war on you now. And now a lot of units have just come flying back to his territory, like here. That was a huge force, and you know, I was going to attack this city, but now I kind of have to attack this. <laughs> and completely decimate it, but he's still got so many units. <laughs> oh boy, yay!